The USC women's basketball team finished up the regular season with an 18-11 overall record after falling 63-56 to Arizona on Sunday and barely losing to the number nine ranked Arizona State Sun Devils this past Friday night at the Galen Center. I'm joined here with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, what happened this weekend and why was Sunday so special? So not only did Sunday mark the end of the regular season, but also there was a pregame celebration to honor departing seniors Brianna Barrett and Temi Fagbenle. So Caroline, what legacy did these seniors leave with the women of Troy? You know, Timmy Fabenle was here for just one season uh, with eligibility as a grad student transfer from Harvard, and she made an immediate impact. She led the team in scoring and rebounding, averaging 13.6 points per game and 8.8 .8 boards per game. Her performance this season, with her only season with the Women of Troy, earned her all Pac-12 recognition, marking the seventh time in the past seven seasons that USC has had yeah. a team on the all Pac-12 player on the all Pac-12 recognition. The other senior is a veteran leader for this. Women of Troy team. Brianna Barrett came into this year coming off a rock star junior season. She started all 30 games last year and led the team in steals. And this season she was leading the Trojans in assists prior to missing the first game of her USC career on January 15th due to eligibility issues. So even though Barrett was unable to compete in USC's final regular season game, her teammate Courtney Jaco actually wore her jersey on senior day to honor her. Yeah. But let's go ahead and take a look at the impact that we've had since losing Brianna Barrett and Jordan Adams to those eligibility issues on January 15th. It's pretty drastic. Yeah, no, it really is. If you look at these numbers, there are some crazy differences. So, Brianna Barrett and Jordan Adams were suspended due to eligibility issues in early January, like Caroline said. So, before the suspension, the women of Troy were 14 and 2, averaging about 73 points per game, 16 assists, and 40 rebounds. However, look at these look at how these numbers dropped. The Trojans went 4 and 10 after the suspension and averaging just 59 points per game, 11 assists, and 32 rebounds. So these disparities in these numbers just shows you, show you how important Barrett and Adams were to the team. That being said, the women of Troy are headed into the Pac-12 tournament as an eight seed. They face the Washington State Cougars on Thursday night at 6 p.m. And it's going to be a tough matchup for them. They split decisions with Washington State earlier this year. So they won at home and lost uh, up in Washington. But the winner of this game, it's a tough road to the championship because they mm -hmm. face the number one state, Oregon State Beavers. USC lost both games to Oregon State. So it's going to be a tough matchup if they want to make it to the conference championship. Most definitely. But I think we're ready. I think so too. The tournament starts on Thursday for the women of Troy up in Tattle when they take Seattle when they take on WSU at 6 p.m.